So today we are going to Brook Lane. Oh, oh, check it out. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to Brook Lane. We're going to Biggie's house. Um, if you're not familiar with Biggie, uh, who are you? But anyway, we're going to Biggie's house today. We're going to do like a little tour of Brooklyn and go around Brooklyn and see all the different sites that's in Brooklyn and what's going on. So stay tuned and see what's coming along with me. Okay, guys, I'm here with Wendy. Yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Wendy. 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 Uh No shade was one of the spots. Um, I'm trying to think where I think it's down this way. But yeah, this was one of the spots where we used to chill at and rap. Okay, so we gotta go to DeKalb Avenue to 
towards Washington Ave. Um, apparently, it's extremely hard to find it because my phone is certainly not doing that for me. So we're just gonna walk down to the left. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and we're gonna see his house. And to me, Biggie was like the icon of the rap community, hip hop community, and just all around lyricist. He was he wrote all his lyrics as far as I know. I wasn't in the studio with him, but he wrote all his lyrics and you know he's just he's an icon. So we want the girls to know who he was. So let's go to his house. Okay, so we are on St. James Place. Um <laughs> finally after like continuous waiting for the train and Oh, just a whole bunch of mess. It was like almost like somebody didn't want us to get here. But we're here. So, we're down the block from his house. Not even down the block. We're like maybe like a few steps from his house. From what I do know, uh, Lil C's used to live in one of these buildings. I believe this building right here. Don't get the trash. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, C's used to live here. Uh, one of these floors. I think the second floor, third floor, whatever. Um, but yeah, and that's how him and that's how him and Big got real close because they used to live, you know, right down the street from each other, or a couple of buildings from each other. Um, right there is where Big used to perform. Well, yeah, a lot of the times when he first started out, he used to perform there. And this is it. Here we are. And this is it. Ooh. Ah. So yeah, this is it, um, and I'm sure a lot of you are probably like, child, you just came to his house to come see in front of his house, but it's like, no, like, for me, like I've always said, it's very nostalgic, and I've always had a passion for Biggie and Bad Boy, and just that whole hustle and that whole drive of getting to where they are now, so that's pretty much why I wanted to come out here and see it, so, you know, it's very worth it. You should come out here too. Okay, so, yeah. This was a spot where Biggie used to perform, uh, one of his first performances. He lived right across the street, and he used to come over here to perform with C's and everybody else. If I'm not mistaken too, I believe Kim lived somewhere right around the corner from here. I don't, I don't know exactly where, but I know he used to live across the street. They, they sold the apartment for like $800,000 now. Um, but yeah, this has been shut down, as you can see. I don't think they tore it down. I don't think that they should, because you know I feel like it's a national treasure. But this is where somewhere where he used to perform and yeah come to Brooklyn it's history here bad boy all right so um, my phone's dead so like I was saying yeah he used to live across the street and he used to come over here to perform once in a blue moon whenever he you know wrote, wrote one of his dope lyrics he used to perform and then if you look That's exactly what I meant when I said, you know, there's history in Brooklyn, and come to Brooklyn. It's, it's dope here. Spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. Hey, spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. You really pressing it. I'm, I got my car and shit. All right. That's what I'm saying. We standing here like, what's up? Like, so yeah, I, I mean, we here. We chilling. But I'm trying to figure out what you're doing and where you at. Why can't you meet us here? Okay, I'll meet you there. So, yeah, you're 12 right. minutes from here. All right, all right. Bye. Bye. Right. You want to see the mural? Um, it's a, a building somewhere around here, somewhere around the corner from somewhere, around, around the corner from somewhere around here. And they painted his picture on the side of the building. Um, and yeah, we're going to go see that next. And that'll be the last thing we go see because that's pretty much what they did um, as far as Brooklyn and Biggie, as far as his legacy go. His house is still here, the uh, performance spot is still here, and we're gonna go see the mural next. Tag along. Motorola's 
yo, give him the cold shoulder with a hollow tip to match. Bad apple out of the bat, success for gas. Since a little dude eating niggas full buck fifties. Niggas could kill me, but they come with me. What's the real shit? Shit to make you feel shit. Dump them in the club, shit. Have you out the out way and bump this? Talk to your ear from the raw uncut. Have a nigga OD, cause it's never enough. Yo, Guys, so we came to see the mural. Um, what street is Oh, it's on Quincy Street in Bedford Ave. Uh, they real disrespectful with this garbage, though. I wish somebody would come and get it, but I don't know if anybody's gonna come and get it anytime soon. But whatever. Uh, so yeah, when you're in Brooklyn, this is what you need to come see: Quincy Street and Bedford Ave. Come see the uh, the Biggie mural. So where's that? Biggie, Brooklyn, all day. <laughs> this is my dear friend. Who are you? Dear. Not dear. I'm gonna drop your Instagram. Okay, bye. So people know you. Right. Anyway, so yeah, we met up with her in Brooklyn. She came and picked us up, and we ride around with her. We about to go do more sightseeing, right? Right. Peace out, Brooklyn. Thank you. All right, guys. So we did our tour of Brooklyn. We sit in here now in Dumbo. Cold is snowing now. Thank you, New York City, for shifting weather, <laughs> shifting weather on me, and going from what 60 to blistering snow. Blistering snow. Lips about to crack, about to bleed. <laughs> As I always say in every video, go like, subscribe, comment, share, tell your brother, sister, mother, father, uncle, pastor, deacons, first ladies, everybody you know. Come on and come join the family. I love you guys so much. What you gotta say? Peace. Peace out, guys. Cue the music. Biggest Smalls, Junior Mafia, represent, baby, baby. Uh.